Hey guys, More back here with a quick updated video on my best single player settings. So, yeah, I decided to update it because I found a one that felt much better. So, here we go. We're going to up the difficulty to 1.0. We're going to leave the dino damage alone, so we're going to skip it this time, but we're going to go over to the player damage and up it to a 1.25. So that way you get a little bit of a bonus on them. Structure damage, we're going to leave it alone. Player resist, we're going to drop down to a 0 0.8. So you get a little bit of a resistance. Dino resist, I figured we're going to just leave that alone as well. Uh, structure resist, leave it alone. Uh, XP multiplier, we're going to jump that up to a 1.5. And then taming speed here, we're going to leave it... Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna leave it alone. We're gonna up it to an eight point zero. And as you can see here in the clip I'm about to show. And here we are about to trank a T-Rex that's fighting dimorphodons. He's on the run. There we go. And he is down. Alright, now that we are here with the dinosaur unconscious and starving it a bit, you need to protect it. So that's why we have the buff stats. So, yep. So I'm going to let it starve up here a bit, then I'll cut back to when he is ready to be fed. Alrighty, now as you can see, as I add meat into its inventory, it only took uh, a couple pieces there. Uh, I will have to count. But yeah. With a couple pieces of prime meat, I think two at eight. Now, moving on from that, we're going to go to structure damage repair cooldown. We're going to lower the... It's just going to lower it so that way instead of it taking three minutes, it's going to take like 20 seconds before you can repair it. Then dino turret damage, we're going to leave alone. Dino harvest damage, I don't know if I changed that, but it's at a 3.2. So if I have, up it. Uh... Harvest amount, we're going to go with the three. Now, as you can see, as I approach this rock here and I hit the button to pick it up, I get three stone. Now, if I go over here and hit Y on these, I get three stone. Three stone. Oh, there's no stone there. But yeah, so with the harvest amount set to three, you get three. And then here, as you can see, I got, yep. It's not bad harvest amount. That's 24 fiber for one plant. Yeah, roughly 25 are there again. And from two plants there, we got quite a bit of narco berries. Nine's, nine's enough to get you bought three narcotics. Uh, medjo berries, ten of those. Those are, I think, every dino's favorite. Then the other ones, the ones that people rarely forget about. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's what the harvest amount's like. And now, player player character water drain, we're going to leave alone, along with player character food drain. Now, dino character food drain, we're going to up, so that way in single player, you do at least get, you do at least have to worry about feeding your dinos. You can leave it alone, or you can even lower it as well if you don't want to feed your dinos. But I still recommend make sure that they can eat food. So the, and also, the I think the faster, the more food they eat, the the more they heal. But anyways, now on to player character stamina drain. We're going to drop that down to uh, 0 0.75. Just so that way you can move along faster and outrun some stuff but not be like having so much stamina you can run forever. Same with the dino character stamina drain. Just a tiny bit more there so we dropped it down to a 0 0.9. Uh, player health recovery and dino health recovery, we left alone. Uh, harvest Player harvest damage, we left alone. Dino count is at 1. Non-dedicated non host tether distance. Um, if you are playing with friends, I would up it. Um, Xbox players, you do not have non-dedicated host tether distance at all. You guys are stuck with the basic distance due to the limitations. Um, I'm not sure if Series X got an update that added it or not. But I'm pretty sure even on Series X you can't do it. So yeah, moving on. Uh, allow third person camera, yes. 
Then we have enable crosshair. You can leave this off if you feel like having a more immersive experience where you have to use the sights on weapons more. Then you got the loot crate. We're going to leave, forget the loot crate. Then we got hardcore mode or, and you, that's optional select if you want to have a hardcore mode. Uh, we're not going to have PVE mode selected, so just select that. Show player location on the map, that's optional. If you want to uh, yeah, find yourself on the map or if you feel like using the GPS or compass, whichever one. Uh, max difficulty dinos, this is just so that way you get 150s and they'll be more common. Um, disk select single player settings that will mess up the rest of the settings. Um, use corpse locator, that is optional as well. But I have it turned on. Uh, disable structure collision. Disable collision. Yeah, disable structure placement collision. Uh, I, I had a tooth pulled here recently, so it's kind of hard to talk. But anyways, um, yeah, that one I would highly recommend. But again, allow multiple platform floors. I would say yes, go with this. Again, optional though. Uh, unlimited respects. Uh, yeah, go with that, especially if you're playing alone. Um, but if you have a couple friends with you, I would also leave it on, but that again is optional. And then go down here and, yep, allow flyer speed leveling. I never get this to work, but I guess it does now. I um, On Xbox, though, I had trouble getting it working. So Xbox players do be warned. Alrighty, so now on to the advanced. Now here in advanced, we're going to start with the advanced rules. And all we're going to have it enabled there is allow cave building PVE and, and allow cave flyers PVE. Um, yeah. Now moving on down here, I have uh, just basically not that. Then now down to here where the non-permanent diseases, uh, I would have that selected. If you want permanent diseases, check this. But if you're playing alone, I highly recommend non permanent diseases just so that way you don't keep dying over and over again then select here force allow cave flyers so that way you can have flyers and caves like a hundred percent definitely override structure platform preventions this will allow you to turn on turrets and spikes onto your platform saddles alrighty now scrolling down here more it's just more pvp stuff i don't have it changed um here in the world settings we're getting into the egg hatching stuff I'm going to have a video that goes more in depth here, but I'm going to scroll by here. If you just want to grab them and go test them yourself, go for it. But harvest health, that's set at one. Resource respawn period, that's set at one. Um, day cycle speed, I have set to a 0 0.7. So that way the days are just, day and night are just a tiny bit longer. The spoil timer, item decomposes timer, and corpse. I all have set, I have those all set to one. Uh, no resource player, the no re resource radius players and structures both set at one. I think that's their default. Crop growth speed is set at nine, and crop decay speed is set at six. And as you can see here in this clip, now as you can see here with these tech, uh, what are these tech crop plots? I do not know if these give a bonus to growing, but using these as a baseline and quickly, is there shit like? I don't think so, but using that seed as a baseline, quick, long grass seeding, and then we go over here, narco berries seeding, don't worry about that, I didn't even know that was still in the game, but apparently I can spawn it in, but here, yep, as you can see here, the long grass has, has set in, um, shouldn't take long, I believe, out of nine, it should take only like, I think half an hour. So I am going to either cut back to when this is done, or yeah, we'll find out here shortly. Now as you can see here, I have the game set to 10 times speed, so... Uh, the long grass is finally, uh, what is it, mildewing, and now it's grow growthing, and now fruiting. So, yeah, that, at ten times speed there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'd say what that was about 10 seconds 10 times I'd say probably about 10 15 minutes maybe even 20 it would take for these to get up there or even 30 somewhere around uh, I would say 20 minutes to a half hour is how long it would take to grow these so yeah now they're fruiting and yeah your crops are fully grown um, also they have not fully loaded in because I was fast forwarding so yeah Alrighty guys, now as you can see here that we're done with the plants, we are moving on to the dino stats. So what we're going to do is we are going to skip the tame dino stats per level. Or not tame, we're going to we're going to skip the wild dinos, not the tamed. We're going to be working with the tame dino stats per level here. So but what we're going to be using though for that program is beacon. So now, as you can see here, with Beacon, uh, you can see all the, with the Allosaurus here is what I have selected for the stat multiplier. With Tame Dinosaurs here, as you can see, with the simple 0 0.2, it's a 5.4 times on the XP. But say we swap over here to the, I don't know, this guy. That one's the same. Uh, huh. Hold up. Uh, I know some of these guys are supposed to be different. Right, different. There we go. Now, as you can see here with the Ice Wyvern, it's a 16.2. So, but what I do like just to keep it as, just so that way it's somewhat fairly balanced, is a 1.25. So, you're getting 33.75 each time. But if you want to even round that out more, I think you can even go up to, no, no, that actually makes it worse. Yeah, that, oh yeah, I think I'm actually lowering it. It's a new man. Ooh, there we go. And that, that's what we like to go for, for the health. Then, what the, hell? then for stamina, that's a 10%. I like to bump this up to at least a five. So that way it's a 50% increase. So. Then for Torpor, we don't do anything. Oxygen, again, op optional. I don't know if many creatures need oxygen that much, but if you want to, you can change it. Food, leave alone. Weight, weight is a little bit different here. As you can see, it's, it's a direct, like, times four. So it will increase by, I think, four each time. So if we go take 10, now it's going to increase by 40. A hundred, four hundred, or, and then we got like three hundred here, and it's like that. But I, what I like to do is just go with fifty, good two hundred each. Now is damage, that's fifteen percent. I like to take fifteen percent times, not that. Uh, five. No, I, there's a way to just get a perfect hundred. What is it, just times one? No. Uh, five, it probably is. Six. Six. Let's go with a six. I think that's the closest I'm going to get it. In speed, let's go with a... Uh, uh, speed, let's just go with a simple six. That's, so it's a, point, it's a 5.4 increase on speed there on the dyno. Um, here, let's look for... Where are ya? Oh, fuck it. Ice Wyvern. Ice Wyvern. So, see? Ice Wyvern's movement speed is at an exact times one, so that goes up by six. But this is a 20% increase. So this is a 25. It's still zero. 10, 10. That's still a 200% increase in weight. Then we got a 45 increase in damage. And a 6%. So, it, it will be different for each Chris creature um that's why i'm using beacon here because i can show you guys that but yeah now moving on all righty so now next up here we have these two stats the tame dinos add per level and tame dino stats affinity these two uh only really take a play take effect when you are taming dinosaurs so, like, say you get a high, uh, what is it, 
taming efficiency on it. These stats will affect like what stats are boosted when you uh tame it basically with that team effectiveness. I don't want to touch these if you feel like doing them. I feel I feel like it plays better this way without them touched. So, like it's just neater, you got better control over what their stats are. Okay? Alrighty. Now on to the next one. Player stats per level. And we will probably be using beaking again for this. So Alrighty guys, so here we are with the player stats. So this one's pretty simple here, as you can see. Most of them are just set to one, and like this is what you get, because it's like 10 times one is one, that's how much you get. So again, what we're gonna do here is, that just because it's quick and simple, we're gonna bump up the player level to, like the health, we're gonna bump that up to a 10, so it's 100 each time. Stam, we're gonna do a five, so it's 50. Torpor, we're gonna skip oxygen. We're gonna go with uh, I think a three. No, not a three. Uh, would be a good round number here. Five. Let's go five, so that way it's up a hundred. Food and water, we're gonna leave alone. Weight, we're gonna want that times ten. Uh, let's go with times twenty, so that way it's two hundred. Melee, that's a times one. All right, let's do some math here, cause I want this about like plus 30% each time, so probably six. There we go. I had to do math, damn. Again, this one's probably gonna be a five, no. No, that one's gonna be a three. All right, now for fortitude, let's just go with a 10, so it's 20. In crafting speed, I like to bump up to a five. Okay, so now what our stats are for what is it? Player stats per level. What we got now is for health, we got 10. Stamina, we got 5. For oxygen, we bumped that up to a 5 as well. Then we got weight, that's at 20. Melee, that's at 6. Speed, that's at 3. Fortitude, that's at 10. And crafting speed, that's at 5. So, yeah, I think we're good for that. And on to the next. Now that you've seen the video, we're going to bump up each one of these to a 1.5. Just so that way you get a little bit of an edge on top of the other experience. Uh, I wouldn't go much higher than this because then you just start getting an insane amount. Uh, but yeah, now going down to here, we're going to have a custom recipe effect effectiveness. Just scroll that all the way up to a 6. And... Uh, we're also going to hold up here. <laughs> I, I forgot about these stats. Uh, yep. Hit the passive right, li riderless dinos. This will hurt uh, wild dinos. This will allow you to hurt wild dinos. It's here in miscellaneous settings just down below here. Then you got the shoot floating damage tech. That's awesome. Allow custom recipes. Yes. Allow ray dino feeding. Yes. If you feel like taming titans on a uh, extinction or tight the titanosaurus on any other map that it spawns on <laughs> uh, but yeah now we can move on to the ray dino drain multiplier i like to set this at a 0 0.5 just because it's nice cutting their food drain in half custom recipes up to six as i said S the skill factor leaving our own crafting skill bonus multiplier we're gonna bump this up to a 1.5 then supply crate loot, leave it at a three. Fishing loot quality, leave it at a five. Or <laughs> bump it up to a three and bump it up to a five. Sorry, not leave it at. Then fuel consumption, why does this keep going up? I think two point. Yeah, the one point two three two. It just helps out a little bit. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. No, it. It's the 434, sorry. I was testing out different numbers. 434, it works a lot better. And platform structure limit, just drag that over to five. And there we are. Uh, mods that you could use. This is just for PC, Xbox, I'm sorry. I know, crying shame, you don't got mods, boo-hoo. That was kind of mean, but again, sucks to be you. 
But anyways, uh, mods I would recommend, again, no cryo cooldown. And if you want, auto engram and Carex better dinos. Really, those are the ones I would go with. Uh, I got a lot of mods here. I need, I'm testing. So, yeah, but thanks for watching. This is the updated video. Uh, as usual, uh, actually, it's new. I don't even know what it is anymore. Uh, I think it's YouTube recommended on the top. Uh, my latest video on the bottom and then my subscribe to's on the other si other quarter from where those are, I think. I updated it. I can't remember how I updated it, though. But, yeah. This has been Moray signing off.